thanks to all for watching this video and in this video i would like to cover the week 6 final assessment of intermediate one okay here is the question so well for solving this we have to download this week 6 assessment workbook and i have already downloaded this so i'm just going to open it okay and here it is okay then before creating pivot tables okay and it is always a good idea to put your data into a table okay fine and convert the sales data to a table okay and rename the table sales and just copy it down and turn on the total row and in the total row in the price paid column select average to get the average sales price paid okay fine so first uh, go to the workbook and control a for select all and control t okay, again control a control t for creating table okay my table has headers okay and change the table name sales okay control b and enter okay now select total row and go to the price paid and find out the average one okay this one is okay just copy it and paste it here okay because they wanted to know the price paid column select average okay and average price paid and don't enter currency symbol okay just remove all of this okay and then to turn off the total row and create a pivot table in a new sheet to show the total price paid for each turn okay fine so remove total row and go to insert and pivot table okay sales and okay fine and then show the total price paid for each town okay so total price paid values and town okay so i'm just put this down to row now fine so what they want to know and what does the pivot table shows as a total for south hall okay just uh, go for south hall and deselect all and select only south hall okay just this is the answer copy it and paste it here okay fine and modify the pivot table to show your sold in the columns okay and uh, what were the total sales for north hall for 2016 so first uh, year sold in column so year sold okay year sold into column and i'm just uh, going to clear filters okay and what they want to know for north hall 2016 okay for north hall 2016 and here's the answer just copy it and paste it here okay fine and change the value field settings to show the calculated value as a percentage of the grand total okay and what percentage is shown for london 2014 okay just i'm going to select one and right button so show value as percentage of grand total okay percentage of grand total okay fine and now london 2014 okay and go to london 2014 here it is just copy it and paste it down okay remove all the percentage sign okay still working in sheet one and click uh, into cell a15 and create a pivot table from your sales data that shows uh, total price paid for each property type and rename the pivot property type so i need uh, price paid and property type okay and rename is property type just copy it now will be needed and in a15 go to insert pivot table and from what sales okay and price paid to the values and property type 
to the row fine and what do you want to know uh, price bit for each property and rename the pivot table to the property okay and rename it so in pivot table 2 I'm just going to rename it property table okay just enter fine now what was the total price paid for semi products okay total price paid total price paid for semi products and this tensor just copy it and paste it here okay and then in the property type pivot change the summary is values by set to use a count instead of sum okay fine and how many flats are sold okay so just i'm going to change the value to so go to analyze and field setting okay and change it to count okay fine now what they want to know they wanted to know that how many flats are sold so the flat sold is 431 okay just copy it down and paste it here and then click uh, in the property type pivot and in the pivot table field settings tick this state type checkbox okay fine and how many leasehold terraced property were sold so again click in the property type pivot and in the pivot table field settings state type so now i'm going to include state type also okay so state types to the column and you can put it to row also whatever you want but it's look like beautiful in the column okay so now and how many leasehold terraced okay so i'm going to leasehold terrace okay change it to leasehold and terraced okay leasehold terraced fine now it's 10 only just copy it and paste it here okay and then in the property type pivot add your soul to the filters uh, section in the pivot field setting and change the filter to only show properties uh, sold in 2015 14 and 15 okay so years only in filters so first of all i'm going to remove all the filters okay fine fine now now just uh, add year sold in the filters and select 2000 14 and 15 okay and okay and now what they want to know is how many freehold terrace properties are sold in the time period freehold terrace so go to the freehold terrace and here it is 162 it's freehold terrace okay just copy it down and paste it and it's still working in the property type pivot clear all filters remove your soul from the filter area and remove property type from the row area so your soul and property type so i'm going to remove your soul and property type and okay select all fine and then and then they wanted to know the add did date to the column area and group by year and quarter okay so did date so i'm going to add did date in the column area okay and move this to type into row it will be okay so to the column area and group by year and quarter and if necessary expand the year group for 2015 so go to here and quarter okay fine so expand 2015 okay and then how many freehold properties sold in quarter 3 2015 quarter 3 2015 freehold okay so freehold quarter 3 2015 it's 62 just copy it 
and pasted here okay free hold quarter 3 2015 okay 10 add a slicer to filter the property type by bot by postcode and select all postcodes that uh, begin with ub1 or ub2 and how many leasehold property sold in quarter 2 for 2015 for this postcode okay so i'm just going to add a slicer on property type by bot okay so just uh, select uh, any one of them and go to analyze and insert slicer okay and postcode okay just okay so now you have to bear in mind that it's already selected all so i'm just uh, going to select according to my demand ub1 and ub2 okay now it's not selected okay okay fine just uh, ub1 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 or oh, two 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 okay fine fine now what they want to know they wanted to know the leasehold property sold in quarter 2 2015 leasehold quarter 2 2015 okay so here is the leasehold 2015 and quarter 2 is 7 so leasehold quarter 2 15 is 7 just copy it and paste it here okay now okay fine submit it wow it's 100% okay fine thank you once again